why are attractive men single you're attractive you should be able to get any girl you want right well let me let you know first it's not because they're just weird and they have anxiety and don't know how to talk to girls let me tell you that it actually goes quite deep and with my very first point i just want to say my intention is not to offend anybody and i'm gonna get straight into it i believe a lot of attractive men are single because god has chosen them now hear what i have to say i believe because of the way you look you're going to attract people who have malicious intent being attractive is going to attract people towards you period and i believe a lot of the times attractive men are like me and what i mean by that is you just see yourself as a normal person and it's almost as if god has like some sort of protection over you as an attractive guy because you're not aware of what you mean to society you're not aware that you're going to be treated a certain type of way you're behaving like a normal guy that's what i mean by attractive men are chosen by god i believe that when you are attractive god almost put some sort of protection over you to make sure you're not going into positions where you're betrayed and manipulated and of course i know there's serial killers who are attractive etc but i believe god has attracted people in certain positions in life to not only protect them but to be able to be a beacon of light because as an attractive person people's eyes will be drawn towards you that's why i mentioned in a video where it was like uh, why attractive men are, uh, are not going to thrive in nine to fives i mentioned in that video that if you start your own business you won't be making profits for another man's company you can bring eyes towards you because you're attractive and all the profits are going to be in your hands when you are attractive people's eyes will be drawn towards you and you can be used for a higher purpose so i believe a lot of the times god might want some of his attractive children to fulfill certain purposes in life so he almost protects them and he he, he instills within their heart a drive to want to connect with god a lot of attractive men guys are trying to pursue a, a higher power whether it's god understanding their purpose spirituality a lot of attractive men are walking a lonely path and trying to pursue more knowledge there's this guy i've seen on youtube i believe he's a, some sort of lifestyle influencer this guy's a handsome guy as well and the main message i see him preaching on his channel is for men to connect with god a lot of handsome men out here are not what society wants you to believe they are and this actually kind of ties into my next reason attractive men are single a lot of attractive men are not trying to be what a society expects of them and what i mean by this is society expects handsome men to be smashing a bunch of girls and be that bad boy etc right but a lot of handsome men don't want to do this they don't want to play this game even me for a, a while i used to look back and, and I, be, I used to think why did i not go crazier in high school and by crazy i mean why was i not dealing with more women like i could have done so much with them and then you look back and you're like bro she literally threw it at you and you didn't do nothing and i used to think like why did i not like entertain every girl like there used to be some girls who used to throw it at me and i used to not do anything if i didn't like her right i i wasn't like just trying to do something just to do it. i used to be like why would you why wouldn't you just you know essentially fuck just to fuck why didn't you do it and i remember it's like i had some sort of higher calling I had something telling me don't go to the parties don't do this because guys i was one of those people in school to where i wasn't the most popular guy in school but i was invited to basically everything i was the cool guy right i wasn't the most popular but everyone knew me i was cool right so i was invited to quite a lot of things but i never turned up i was actually known as that guy who you wouldn't invite because he's not going to turn up anyway he, he doesn't come to any any of the parties right it's almost like they look down on you like you think you're better than us for not, for not turning up to the parties but i remember kind of the mindset i had at the time it's like i had a higher purpose i had a higher calling and a lot of attractive men feel the same way they feel like they're here for something more and they don't want to play the role that's expected of them in terms of hitting every single girl in sight they just don't want to do it they see more to life there's nothing wrong with you as well if you're watching this right now you feel like damn i might something wrong with me for not going out here and smashing everything in sight no nothing's wrong with you god might want to use you as an attractive guy to push a certain type of message for people to be drawn towards the light and he might need an attractive face in order to attract people to the message so don't feel like you're something's wrong with you or you know 
there's something else that needs to be figured out in order for you to be able to move forward as an attractive guy no you've got it figured out a lot of times if you've got that feeling of a higher purpose being in your life and guys yes i know everybody's not religious and i'm not one of those preachy preachy people trust me i'm not one of those preachy people if you guys knew my you know history and everything you know i'm not a preachy person at all but i do i do understand that there's people who are not religious right at all but you've got to realize that that is a factor you know even if you're not religious that is a factor and i mean it's a factor in terms of let's say spirituality for you it might be a different type of higher power you might not be god it might not you know it might be well i don't know what type of higher power it would be but you understand what i'm saying like i understand there's people who don't believe necessarily what i believe so i want to compensate for you guys too and i, I and i think there's a reason that you guys might feel a feeling of a maybe maybe not a higher power maybe not necessarily god but you might feel that feeling of a higher power too maybe you're not uh you don't connect with god right but you might feel that higher power calling you to do something more not to sleep with everything guys follow that calling even if it's not necessarily god follow that calling just make sure it's not satan but for, well you might be a satanist I, don't, I just don't know but just make sure that you actually pursue that calling because it's a calling for a reason many are called but few are chosen and i feel like as an attractive guy you're almost like a soldier for god or whatever higher power you believe in because people will be drawn to you based on your attraction even if i believe i'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not um, completely knowledgeable when it comes to the bible but i believe they even said something about satan was attractive or something like that he knew how to sing he was attractive a lot of times as an attractive person you could be a beacon for light or darkness you could be an attractive person who attracts people to something that's dark because of the way you look you could draw people in and lure people because of the way you look or you could lure people into a positive message for light you can do either one but understand as an attractive person you're going to either be used by the devil or god it just is what it is guys i'm not trying to be surface level with these videos a lot of these other people can be surface level you can watch them if you want more surface level but guys i'm gonna go deep with this because i actually care about what i'm talking about in these videos now the next reason i believe attractive men are single is because it's kind of abundant to you from a young age and what i mean by it's kind of abundant to you from a young age i'm talking about women i remember when i was young and i used to go to my mom's friend's house she literally used to harass me damn near and you, you, she used to say i should marry her daughter because guys i'm nigerian that's my culture i didn't live there or anything but that is my culture so within that culture they kind of do stuff like that like you know you should marry my daughter you know i want you to take my daughter's hand in marriage all that type of stuff so i used to get that all the time and she used to constantly hit me with that and it was basically like that a lot of places i went like people would talk about me and their daughter and stuff like that at a very young age like i think i was like five six and i remember this stuff so it was it was at quite a young age so when that type of stuff is happening to you when you're 14 15 and you go to an environment like high school you're not going to be that pressed to get into a relationship because you kind of had women you know praising you from a young age and i feel like an average guy and i'm not even going to say feel because this actually logically makes sense as well as an average guy if you're not getting that much attention from a young age when you finally do get the attention you're going to be more serious in terms of cuffing that attention in terms of getting a relationship etc you're going to take that woman serious when you she finally looks at you in a certain way maybe it's a girl in your high school whatever when you're an average guy and you haven't really had abundance when it comes to women in terms of a young from a young age you're going to be more pressed to get into a relationship whereas a attractive guy isn't going to be as pressed to get in a relationship you know it's, it's it's almost as if as an average guy you know the severity of not having a girl in your life and you need one now but as a handsome guy you almost don't know that severity now that severity can still be there because you can be lonely as an attractive guy but you're not so you're not so aware of the severity of not being in a relationship because you've had it you've had women just so abundant to you so you might think i could just go get one when i want you might not be able to but you're gonna think that based on your upbringing whereas an average guy isn't gonna think that he's gonna see a girl look at his background and be like damn i haven't really had girls coming up to me doing this etc so let me actually entertain the girl who's finally come up to me now a lot of people will look at the modern day dating scene and they'll complain and they also have a mindset of attractive guys aren't really going through what everyone else is going through when it comes to modern day dating let me let you understand something right now attractive guys are definitely going through all this bs in the modern day dating scene also it's not like attractive guys have this halo around them and they cannot be affected by the manipulative games women play the deceit and the overall promiscuity of the modern day woman 
just because you're attractive does not mean you're gonna avoid that so what because i'm attractive i, I can erase her body count no so attractive guys are going through a lot of this bs when it comes to modern day dating also it's not just average guys dealing with this woman being disrespectful be dealing with this woman flaking no attractive guys are dealing with it but more so with attractive guys it's kind of a with attractive guys it's kind of the same game but it has different different intricacies and what i mean by that is yes they generally play the same games like they might flake but with you as an attractive guy it's going to be it's going to be for a different reason when it comes to them flaking so attractive guys are really single a lot of times because on a modern day dating scene you're going to receive a lot of bs and with the climate we're living in in terms of modern women saying they hate men handsome men are gonna receive a very bad end of that stick because if we hate men period and we don't even like seeing a man smile look at the attractive guy over there he's feeling himself what should we do with him it's gonna be even worse for him because you're attractive they're gonna be they're gonna want to tear you down even more it's like if a guy's an incel and hates woman you being an attractive woman he might want to fuck you over even more because you're attractive so the overall climate we're living in today is a big contributor in terms of why attractive men are single attractive men are not trying to deal with the games in the modern day dating scene the modern day dating scene is cooked period is cooked but as an attractive guy you're gonna receive a different end of that dating scene being cooked and it's it's not fun it's not fun at all because it's one thing to be going through the modern day dating bs because your average is like damn i'm just an average guy right but to be attractive and to be going through bs it's annoying especially when you know in these other countries where women are more submissive you know as an attractive guy they treat you like an attractive guy now guys if i was a bit extra or maybe a tiny bit preachy i apologize you know i just really i'm passionate about what i'm saying in this video and i really believe it's a powerful message for a lot of you attractive guys out there to understand god or whatever you believe in has chosen you for a higher purpose you're not attractive for no reason attractive people can be beacons for light or dark i appreciate every single one of you and i'm out